It's September the 5th. I am going to be doing my second Can I Wear Separates Every Day challenge that I have ever attempted. Last time I did it for a month, except it wasn't, I think it was 23 days. It was back in November last year and I will link to that video up here in the description down below. I really enjoyed it but I did struggle because it was obviously the cold time of year and a lot of the things I have made are like this a lot well a lot of the separates that i have made are like this i didn't really I, I kind of didn't really explore all of the options that i had in my wardrobe so a couple of people mentioned that i should try it again during the warmer weather i've been waiting for that september's here and apparently so is summer in the uk at least so i'm going to give it a go for the next two weeks so 5th of september to the 19th of september i will be wearing separates every single day now i am cheating today slightly i am wearing separates but it definitely looks like a dress this is definitely my comfort zone as we know i love dresses that tends to be the thing that i wear the most often i love how today's look has come out this was a dress that the bodice was just way too big for me so i took it off i think it was July that I went through and altered all the skirts that I never wore because they weren't dresses and then came out with a couple of dresses that were just not right as they were so I turned one into another dress and I've turned this one into a skirt because I'd already used any spare fabric I had to make this shirt and I love how this looks this is the first time I've worn it since I've changed it but that's what this challenge is for, to get me having a look at my wardrobe and being creative with the things that I sew, theoretically anyway. Let's see how it goes. Three weeks later. I love day one's outfit. It looked like a dress. Day two is one of my favorite co sets and I have a feeling that that is going to be a bit of a theme going forward for my separate sewing. If I continue doing much separate sewing is coordinating outfits because it's what I feel most comfortable in. This is a hunter tank and a pair of wrap trousers, a simplicity one. The pattern that I use is out of print but I I will list you a couple of similar ones in the description down below. Fabric is from Stitch Fabrics and it's no longer available. Although luckily mum loved it so much I bought her some and we have done a swap because she's never used it and I'm going to make a shirt dress with interesting hopefully striped details on it so I do have some more of it to play around with the dress which I'm excited about. I love the trousers but I want a dress. Next outfit was the day I had refashioned my denim skirt and I love that skirt. I'm really happy with the refashion. I'm wearing it with a Gertie tie front shirt that I made out of a cotton sateen from Spoonflower. I've also got a dress that goes with this and that's another kind of co-ord set that's going to look really cool together. The dress is a grey dress so it's very cleavage-tastic but with the shirt over the top it definitely gives it a different look but this day I decided to wear it with the denim skirt and I really like how that looks as well. This denim skirt is definitely my go-to and definitely my replacement for jeans. I can't get far enough back. Damn it, prawn cocktail outfit. Well, oh, shrimp cocktail outfit. <laughs> My shrimp cocktail outfit. I love this colour on me. It's a really, really bright coral, almost neon. I really like these two separates together. The skirt is a cotton eyelet with lots of texture on it and it's a pleated and gathered skirt which I do have a tutorial for on my channel. I kind of fluffed up with this one a little bit. It was the first one I'd made in a long time so the gathers at the back have ended up being slightly floofier than I anticipated or wanted but it does kind of give it like a faux kind of like fantail back look and I love how these two pieces look together. I've also got a cardigan that matches perfectly with the skirt so I did wear that when it was a little chillier. So I knew when I repaired my denim skirt that this was going to happen and I was going to end up wearing it a lot during this challenge because it is one of my kind of go-to pieces. I don't have many plain denim skirts in my wardrobe that fit me at the moment. I've made a bunch but they're all slightly too big and I have a feeling that this cubby hole of fabric which is technically meant to be mostly trouser fabrics is actually going to end up being skirts because I just prefer wearing them but there will be a separate video coming on my trouser trial and tribulations later. Aside from my co ord outfits I think this was my favourite outfit of the experiment. I love this bright red colour on me. Since having my colours done which is part of the separates challenge from last year and the video was linked earlier and also in the description down below I have definitely been trying to gravitate more towards the kind of very bright vibrant colours that are part of the spring 
spring palette I am a spring I just really really like how I look in these brighter colors like the coral from earlier and this one definitely need to be making more red things I have a dress from this fabric and it also looks great with this cardigan over the top of it loved this outfit very very pleased with this one and it's quite interesting because this is a repetition of the gable t-shirt that you saw earlier in coral it's a little shrug that I absolutely love but they're much more muted I think the contrast between the bright red and this outfit is quite striking I love the fabric of the t-shirt I got it from Flamingo Fabrics they don't have that particular print anymore but I will list it in the description down below I really liked this outfit and the colors in this t-shirt are bright they are vibrant greens and yellows it's a lemon print t-shirt but I don't know it's just not quite hitting the same as the red one did I like this and I'm not getting rid of any of the individual pieces but it's not the favorite thing that I wore over these two weeks this outfit it's another cord much like my first outfit the skirt had previously been a dress but I didn't like how the bodice had turned out but I already made the shirt from my leftover fabric so I took the dress apart made a waistband and turned it into a skirt with pockets it's the 1731 1713 <laughs> it's the Vogue pattern with the weird bodice darts which is why I've taken the bodice off I actually didn't like this outfit by the end of the day now this is exactly the same shirt as the flamingo shirt from earlier that was made in a cotton sateen which has a little stretch in it this one is a quilting cotton which is gorgeous but those grown on sleeves they really stuck out under the cardigan that I had on top of this outfit for some of the day because it was a little chilly and it was just a little bit restrictive and uncomfortable to wear now I have this shirt in a cotton lawn as I say cotton sateen as well and those ones are very comfy and I do enjoy wearing them and I don't notice them over the day but this one as the day wore on I was more and more uncomfortable in this shirt I had a lot of people suggest on the patreon exclusive waffle that I either take the sleeves off they are grown on sleeves so that would just mean shortening them or like altering this shirt in some way and I definitely could do that but I do have so many clothes that I think I'm just going to pass this one on as is and somebody else will get to wear and love it. Now I have previously stated that I don't overly like wearing patterned bottoms with a plain top so that might mean that I don't end up wearing this skirt but the other thing with this outfit as well is the colours whilst bright are definitely on the cool side and as I say I'm a spring and a warm tone. I think I might pass it on as an entire outfit or sell it as the two pieces that could be bought and worn together because I just don't think it's going to be something that I reach for because now I know that the shirt is uncomfortable and as I say the colours weren't quite right for me. I have so many clothes and so many potential clothes that I get to be really really super picky about what I keep from the items that I've made. I'm really happy to experiment and try different things but the more I do that the more I can refine down the things that I love making and more importantly enjoy wearing. So whilst this is a lovely outfit I don't find it comfortable enough to want to keep it and I don't think the colors are right for me so this one is going. So you're only seeing 10 outfits in the twirls. I did wear variations on this theme quite a lot. It's actually a ready to wear t-shirt and I just love the pun. It's a make it so t-shirt if you can't quite see it. It's Picard holding it at a sewing machine out to Riker. Make it so. I have this t-shirt twice now. <laughs> I just love it so much. It's with a cropped cardigan that mum knit for me from a drops design and then the McCall 7634 jogging bottoms that I've done a sew along for and I've made three pairs of. I wore this a variation on this outfit at least four times because it, the experiment was meant to be two weeks and it went over a little bit longer than that because I had a couple of duvet days which were basically pajamas which were separates but I'm not showing you so I know that the three pairs of these jogging bottoms that I have have all pilled bobbled worn massively and they're all looking a little bit tatty so they're all trousers that I wear at home to be comfortable. I do like this trouser style on me and I do want to make some more of these. I did try some earlier this year in a red stable knit that I got from Lady McElroy and it just didn't have enough stretch in it so I had to add a waistband that would fit over my hips that I could then put elastic in and it just did not come out the same so I need to make sure the next pair that I make because I do want to replace the three as I say they're all very very uh, worn looking 
working. When I do find fabric to replace them, I do need to make sure that it has the correct amount of stretch in it to to actually be able to be worn as I like it. I am going to go for different colours. I've got black with the rainbow trim, which I do love and I probably will repeat. It's probably the only black piece of clothing that's going to survive in my wardrobe, to be honest, when I think about it. Everything else has gone, but because it's got that bright rainbow stripe down the side. I love it. I've got the turquoise ones, which I also love. Then I've got some muted green ones. Now the muted green ones are lovely. Very, very soft. French Terry, love them. But they, again, are not the super bright colours that I am now gravitating towards. Although they do go with this top and that is a nice combination and I do wear that combination together. So I'm going to keep those three because they are perfectly wearable, but they're just not smart enough to be seen out of the house. So I would like to make some more of them because I do wear them so frequently. And then the last outfit is the one that I have on today. And it is my 6563 t-shirt which I love. I'm afraid the pattern is out of print but there is a similar pattern, the Vogue 9006, which I have made both the long sleeved and the short sleeved version of. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Highly recommend that one. Then the McCall's 7906 skirt. <laughs> I had to look it up earlier for the short I put out so yeah that skirt. I love this outfit together and it's one of those ones where I've got loads of cardigans that go with the different tones of Savannah so I can put a bunch of different cardigans with it. I've got it on with flats today because it is still fairly warm but I can also put it on with some of my knee-high boots, tights and a different top and you know kind of make it into a more autumn winter appropriate outfit. I don't know why I don't wear this skirt more often. It's a really nice color although technically not a spring color it is a very nice color and it goes so well with Savannah and I've made a bunch of different Savannah things. I have eight meters of Savannah viscose left for another project but again that's a video for another day. But yeah I absolutely love this one. You have to wear a belt with it. It has belt loops. It's high-waisted paper bag. I think it actually works quite well with my proportions because I do have a long torso and shorter legs but because this comes above my waist I think it kind of balances that out so I do really really like this outfit and I'm really glad that I put these pieces together. All in all I didn't enjoy myself these last two weeks. I really genuinely thought trying the separate challenge again during the warmer months when I had access to all of my short sleeve shirts and things like that would be more fun but I kind of just reverted back to my standard of the jogging bottoms with t-shirts or my denim skirt with with a top. I didn't get overly kind of creative with my outfits. We did have a heat wave at the beginning of this challenge so it was definitely way too warm for me to be layering up pieces and one of the things that I did enjoy about the separate challenge last year was that I could layer up some of my dresses and make them into tops which was something that I've seen a couple of people do. Shireen and Rachel Maxi. and again I'll list their Instagram and YouTube channels down below because amazing. So that was something that I definitely couldn't do this time around because I have so few bottoms that fit me well that are plain that wouldn't have just been a two week span of me co dressing in everything that ended up looking like dresses. That would have been really easy to do but I was trying as I say to challenge myself to make it look like separates. I kind of found it a little bit more difficult and then just reverted back to wearing the two bottoms that I like the most with a variety of tops. Nothing wrong with that at all but I definitely think I am a dress girl 100%. I did wear two pairs of trousers over this challenge. My wrap trousers because it was so warm that day and then my jogging bottoms as I say on a couple of days on repeat with different t-shirts. They are the types of trousers that I favour. As I mentioned earlier I'm going to be doing a trouser month. It's one of my projects that scares me. I am determined to find a type of style of trouser that I like. Mum and I went into town the other day and I tried on a whole bunch of different ones which is the beginning of the trouser video so that as I say will be coming soon. I think one of the things that I want to do with a lot of the suiting I have in here which had been intended for three four separate pieces to be then intermingled into my wardrobe. I'm now thinking about possibly taking the trouser length and turning it into a pinafore dress. Very simple pinafore dress like my 9345 that I made last year. I have a feeling that that dress with some of my other dresses as a layering piece will give me the separate look but the underneath piece will be also a dress so it will give it, I, I think that will be more versatile for me and I think if I do make separates going forward 
more often than not it's going to be co-ord pieces that end up looking like dresses anyway. I would like to replace some of my solid denim skirts, I would like another bright red one and I would like to probably make this bright green into a skirt rather than a pair of jeans like I was planning on. I think I will get more wear out of it as a skirt than I would as it, as jeans. So it's definitely been an interesting experiment. I, as I say, didn't overly enjoy it. I really just wanted to wear dresses. When I couldn't I found myself reverting back to the kind of like throw on the jogging bottoms and this t-shirt and just work and I wasn't enjoying that as much as I do pulling out a dress styling that up for the day. I come down to my sewing shed in the back garden of our property and I work from home. I could totally wear pyjamas to work every single day but then what's the point in me making all of these beautiful fabrics behind me into the clothing that I do if I don't wear them? So whilst a lot of people probably think I'm very very overdressed for a day I actually love wearing dresses they make me happy it gives me a purpose for making them and they're just they're, they're just one of those things that bring me joy so going forward it's definitely going to be more fit and flare dresses more than anything else that gets made not saying that's going to be the only thing that gets made because I do have plans to make coordinating pieces from some of the solids that you see behind me but they will end up being things that can get worn with my current dresses rather than making separates out of them if that makes sense. Thank you so much to Nimaway for the suggestion of doing the separates challenge again during the warmer months. It's definitely been interesting. It's definitely helped me hone the kind of things that I enjoy wearing and enjoy making and that can only lead to more successful sewing going forward. The more you experiment the more you can narrow down the things that you actually enjoy and that you actually want to make and that you actually as I say, more importantly, wear. So for me, it's definitely going to be all of the dresses with the occasional separates outfit thrown in because I do have some lovely pieces and I do enjoy a styling challenge every now and then. If you've enjoyed today's video, you might want to check out this one here.